Hi there, Tim with Madrona Labs back with another Kaivo video and this time we are going to be talking about the body module. At first glance, the resonator and the body modules look pretty similar to each other. But let's use a real world example to differentiate between the two. Let's say we have a stringed instrument like the violin. Well, the string in this case would be the resonator and the wooden body would be the body module. Another thing that differentiates the two is there is just one body module as opposed to if you have four voices picked up here in your key module, well then there's actually four resonators because each one of those voices gets its own resonator. And this one body module specializes in chamber and plate resonances. And you'll notice in the drop down menu, we have large wooden box, small wooden box, metal plate, frame drum. These descriptors really only apply to each model in their default settings. So you can think of them as kind of starting points, but once you start moving different parameters around, you start getting into all sorts of different sonic territories. So let's talk about these models really quick. The large wooden box is kind of like a guitar sized wooden enclosure filled with air. The small wooden box is more like a smaller violin. You can think of the metal plate as kind of a primitive symbol. So if you imagine a symbol from a drum kit uh, on its stand, you know it's got its bell and it's got a curve to it. Think of this as just a metal plate that's just balancing on top of that stand so the edges can actually ring out. And finally, the frame drum, you can think of as a membrane or like a drum head that is supported with a thin frame. All right, let's talk about the X, Y window sliders and input dials. So in order to understand the X and Y parameters here within the body, we should probably know what is happening here. So each resonator, again, depending on how many voices you got, so in this patch example, I have seven voices, so seven copies of the resonator now going into the body. Each resonator, the number of which depends on how many voices you have selected in the key module, goes into the body and actually stimulates it at a very specific location. And this is where its energy feeds into whatever resonant model you have selected here in the drop-down menu. So the X and Y displays and allows you to set each resonator's contact point. And then of course our input dials allow us to connect other modules and then decide on how much we want those modules to influence the position of the X or Y slider. So why don't we take a listen to this in action. So I got a nice little patch going here. I'm gonna get that going. And you'll notice here in the body section, it says none in the drop down menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the large wooden box. You can hear that change a little bit, but why don't we take the dry signal completely out and only listen to the body. Now let's hear how the sonic character changes when I move these X and Y sliders. Next up is the non-linear dial here, and what this does is allows you to introduce a combination of non-linear effects, which add a bunch of character and spice to your sound. So let's get our patch going again here. And now let's move our non-linear dial. So why don't we take a listen to the X and Y sliders and nonlinear in action together with a little bit of modulation. And now I'll move through the different resonant bodies really quick so we can hear the difference.
So obviously each resonant body is gonna sound different than each other, but something else to keep in mind is each one on its own is going to sound different depending on what you're feeding it from the granulator and the resonator, etc. So why don't we just bring this up one more time. And now let's just change our resonator. And this is a relatively simple patch as far as modulation goes, not a lot going on in the resonator or the body. So you can imagine all the different sonic characteristics and soundscapes you can get into once you add some modulation in there. The next parameter to talk about is the tone dial. And this lets you change the tonal response of the body module, kind of like a filter. So all the way down, it's a little darker, a little murkier sounding, and then when we go all the way up, we get more of a full frequency range. Next up is our pitch control, which might seem kind of obvious at first. What it does is it allows you to shift the relative pitch of the body up and down one octave. But something to keep in mind, in the boring physical world, when you change the note on your resonator, in this case the string on the violin from earlier, you're not changing the note of the resonant body. But here in Kaivo, you can do that. So why don't we hear the pitch of the body in action? Before I turn it up, I just want to let you know I have the first output of our sequencer going into our granulator and our resonator, so they're getting the same sequence. But I have the delay parameter on the sequencer turned up about halfway, which gives us two different but related sequences. And I'm gonna use this second sequence to control the pitch of the body, but why don't we listen to it really quick without it. And now I'm going to put that second sequence into the body module. And now I'm going to turn up the dry signal so we can hear it all together. Next up is the sustain control, which will allow you to set the amount of time that the resonant body will ring out. So let's hear this in action. And then the last set of controls we're gonna talk about are the wet and the dry, which you've probably deduced their function by now, but let's just check it out. So as I turn up our patch once again, if I turn up this dry control, now I've got a mix of what is coming out of the resonator and what is going into the body. So if I turn that all the way down, we're just getting the granulator into the resonator. Turn that all the way down and then turn this one all the way up. Again, we're just getting the body. And you can use these to dial in whatever mixture you feel fits your sounds. All right, that wraps up this video. Next up is the output module and we will have completely gone through Kaivo. I hope you enjoyed this. For more information on Kaivo or other Madrona Labs since head over to madronalabs.com. Thanks for watching.